welcome listener. This is The Internet Is a Toilet. Way back on episode 6, we listened to some of the worst, unfunniest, cringy stand-up comedy that I could find. And today, we are back for more. We have an abundance of open mic routines and the always terrible Zoom comedy shows. So Cringe Comedy Round 2 is a go, and we have a lot to get through. Luckily, this time, we have help. So buckle up, Toilet Ducks. I've been really excited about this one, guys. We are breaking the usual format today and welcoming in a couple of guest hosts to accompany us through these piles of shit. Sometimes the shit piles are just so big, you can't go through them by yourself. And that's why I've asked Cripple Jesus and Adam from Houston, co-hosts of the Who Gives a Shit podcast, to join us here today on this glorious occasion. CJ and Adam, thanks for being here on the internet as a toilet. How the hell are you guys? (laughs) Doing well. I'm doing pretty great. You know, I'm not much of a stand-up comedian. I'm more into sit-down comedy. Oh, (laughs) shit. Well, uh, before we get into the failed comedians, just want a couple quick comedy preferences. I, I'm a big fan of uh, Norm MacDonald. I like a lot of the deadpan delivery stuff. And, of course, Patrick Michael. Well, I am a really big fan of Chappelle. And uh, seeing everyone melt down around him lately has been absolutely hilarious. Okay, good. Want to let you know that you're not going to be hearing anything close to what those people have ever produced. Well, I already know that no one can reach the height of Patrick Michael. It's not possible. Oh, yeah. Not everything that's bad can be the room. Oh, man. I know how this is. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Some of these are going to be fun to laugh at. Some of these are going to be fucking painful to sit through. You guys want to play a game? Absolutely. Love games. All right. This clip is about two minutes. It's from a comedy show on Zoom. I'm just going to press play. Let me know when you guys have had enough with this comedian. It has been a really long time since I dated you guys. Like the last time I dated, you know, it was popular. Pagers. (laughs) Pagers and payphones. (laughs) Probably stuff you haven't even heard of. (laughs) And now, uh, you guys, it is a plethora of penises, a wealth of wang, a deluge of dong. A surplus of sausage, <laughs> a smorgasbord of schlong. It is a carnisserie de carne, a, a charcuterie of chowd. <laughs> it is a lot of dick pics. You guys, <laughs> a lot of dick pics. All the dick pics you guys <laughs> all the time. Mm. I don't it's know why. It's not that for a second. Pee-pee, but they- Gladly, I didn't know the Wicked Witch of the West got in the comedy. <laughs> I, I don't know what it was called. It's more like the, she got into like her like just decided to down her Adderall prescription. This chick is just fucking going off, man. Holy shit! Um, How long? Do madness you- of menopause. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you guys do you think this is her first show, second show? Think be, we got a seasoned pro on our hands. What do you think? She probably <laughs> done this joke two other times. She's been and performing she know- in front of crowds since 2013. Wow. Wow. She knows it's not funny because she's doing that maniacal witch laugh. Yeah, the, the Tom Myers, I'm going to laugh because nobody else is. Right, yeah. Well, yeah, it's the uh, please laugh of the comedy world. It's almost like you're trying to trick people into laughing. There's nothing actually funny being said. You're just trying to make it awkward enough for people are like, <laughs> You have a 60-year-old woman talking about dicks. That itself isn't funny, but that itself is what she thinks fucking kills. So, you guys done with her? I am. Yeah. 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 I cannot do that a barefoot boxed wine laugh that she's doing. It's just, it's terrible. Okay, well, uh, so somewhere in a parallel universe, there is an equally unfunny guy on a Zoom comedy call. The only channel I trust for my news is a history channel. (laughs) Lincoln, man. Now there's a politician you could trust. (laughs) Plus, he really knew how to wear a top hat. (laughs) He's trying to sound like Hank Hill. Oh, my God. I don't know if he's trying to or if he literally is. What is that, Mike Judge? He's got to be trying to sound like Hank Hill. Did you hear that joke? Abe Lincoln, he sure knows how to wear a top hat. That was a joke. That's like, I, I'm going to press play right now, and he's going to move on to another joke. 
<laughs> These days, I live in a retirement area. And a lot of days, there's not much to do after 10.30 a.m. <laughs> oh, man. The other day, I was very excited. Somebody offered to upgrade my six-incher to a footlong. They're probably talking about a sandwich. <laughs> I wanted to tell you why men love public restrooms. <laughs> Here's the thing. No one cares if you pee on the floor. <laughs> the new Seinfeld is really rough, man. I thought <laughs> it would be that low. That last joke, I mean, it was... I still find it, it hard was, to even call it a joke. I I can I can confidently say that at least I could qualify that as a joke, and maybe with some <clears throat> impeccable timing uh, about the situation, it might even land. And man, the whole time he's talking, I'm getting like this weird time dilation where I'm seeing just how flat it's falling back to back on so many different levels. And like it's it, it does. It's like a minute long, but it feels like 15 because that's how on how many levels it's wrong. It's terrible, man. I know it's been a little brutal. <laughs> Let's cleanse the palate. Sorry, I got really high before I came here Woo! on my brand new ladder. I always get really high when I'm on ladders. Sometimes when I just want to get a little high, I break out my stepladder. I have my stepladder full time, but I only see my real ladders on the weekend. That's a stolen ladders. joke. That is oh. a stolen joke. A guy that opened for Louis C.K. at his special at the comedy store. I can't think of the guy but he's a he's a funny guy and he had that exact joke uh this here is my stepladder i never knew my real one i have my stepladder full time but i only see my real ladders on the weekend lying piece of sack of shit slut trash can scummiest dirt bag bitch <laughs> Today's mini segment comes from the most recent episode of This Patreon is a Toilet. Check out the website toilet.show for the link to our Patreon. We do monthly bonus shows where instead of scripting the whole thing out and blah -de blah I prepare a bunch of videos and songs and we casually go through them all until all of my browser's tabs are closed. This sample, I think it kind of speaks for itself and goes to show that nobody is safe on this show. Not even the big, dumb, fatty, fat pants in charge. Before we make fun of me, let's make fun of the 2007 South Carolina Miss Teen USA. We all probably heard this. This is some context for making fun of me. Recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is? I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have maps and uh, I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, and... Holy shit. So the reason I played that for you is because I was recently on an episode of the Delvin Cox show. Delvin Cox Experience, I'm sorry. And I really liked Delvin. Delvin was awesome. I had a fucking blast. I had too much of a blast. Definitely drank a little more than I should have before and during. And I'm new to podcasting. I thought every podcast was supposed to be people hanging out with their friends, drinking and smoking. Nope. That makes terrible content. And, uh, you know, we talked for a while. We had a lot of good stuff to say. I brought up South Park, that I liked South Park. And he asks me this question. Which show you think is aged better, South Park or The Simpsons? My true answer, South Park. Period. Here's what I said. See, here's the thing. I will 100% say... Simpson has been around longer Simpson. and has been doing more, but I do think Simpsons they're they're more poetic with their um 
with uh, just just their ho- their overall <laughs> message <laughs> and South Park comes out and granted they take poetic licenses but they say this is fucking dumb and also if you do this this is fucking dumb and South uh, and, and Simpsons just pretty much say everybody's kind of silly so I I think no! these days people no! need South Park know what the fuck I was trying to say. Holy shit. Two more tabs left. Here we go. Here's a shitty cover song. So the first time I heard this, I was like, is this Last Dance with Mary Jane? I walked down lonely road the only one that I nope. have ever known. Don't know where Oh, no! Whoops. Back to the show. This final comedian of the night, she is what I like to call an open mic headliner. Her name is Shana Amster. She hosts a podcast called Girl Interrupter. And this podcast is where she posted this entire bit. So not only is she happy with this, She's really happy with this. Here's her. WATP uh, sounds like something you should look at, Kyle. A hundred percent. Holy shit, because her episodes are 15 minutes. Here's the content she's putting out. Just started doing stand up. Love it. Checks all boxes. Stand up is an all inclusive outlet that offers you public humiliation, verbal redundancy. And financial insecurities Woo! sprinkled in bullshit and delivered to you with a smile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How does she find the perfect tone for like if I could capture that tone and turn and distill it, it would be labeled condescending girlfriend. Like, oh, it's so fucking terrible. I can smell the Yankee candle right now. Holy shit. Starting to develop a little following in downtown San Diego. Of homeless. Um, there's this one homeless man who loves to throw his personal belongings at me. Our first encounter, he threw his card, board, a piece of it at me. It had a phone number on it. And I was like, is this your home phone? <laughs> He didn't think it was as funny as I did. Neither did yeah, I. nobody oh. thought it was funny. Zero <laughs> like, people thought that was funny. I was trying to get in the mind of people that would watch something like this, and I was almost able to find a way where someone might have potentially thought it could have been funny, maybe. But then she had to vocal fry at the end of it, and I was just like, oh. It was like fucking nails on a chalkboard. Oh, man. Fucking oh, terrible. The week. Quinn of the week, right here, buddy. Is this your home phone? Holy shit, that's next level. I, I know. never came up with that. It's like she got comedic timing mixed up with Xanax timing. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of timing, last clip, it's almost two minutes. Sorry about that. But this next clip, it's supposed to be one of those real life, this really happened stories. That's just like riddled with jokes. Instead, you get this. And I'm sorry, like I said, it's about two minutes. Feel free to stop me whenever you want. All right. Um, my dad's gay. All right, hold up, hold up. Okay. <laughs> so, why does she have to open with it like that? What, like, uh, the tone was so fucking smug. Like, it was the perfect tone. It was just like Jeb Bush going, please clap. But she's like, okay, so my dad's gay. Please clap now. Mm, yes. It's, oh, I hate that shit. When people try to get like a positive response over something cheap for a, for a bit. This Man, that's- seems like she made all her jokes with the joke generator. That's what <laughs> this sounds like. <laughs> And the way this was presented to me was he just started making out with a very young man in front of me. And I was like, whoa, that's gay. 
<laughs> and I thought he was fucking with me at first. He likes to do that, but he wasn't. That young man was his boyfriend. His boyfriend's name was Christian, and Christian and I became really good friends. And one night, uh, he was telling me about how he went down to Mexico to get his dick circumcised. And I was like, recently? And he was like, yeah, I have to go back. And I was like, what do you mean? Do you have two dicks? Do you have a five skin? Do you want to talk about it? And he was like, it's not tight enough. And I was like, what? And he calls my dad over. He's like, Steve, come over here. Steve, show Shana your dick. And I was like, no, thank you. And my dad was like offended by the fact that I didn't want to see it. And he was like, she's already seen my dick. When her mom was pregnant, I poked her in the face with my dick. Dad said that to me. But I'm not a victim. So I was like, oh, is that why I love jizz on my face so much? And ladies and gentlemen, your headliner of the night, Shana Amster. This never happened. Nothing like this. Nothing that even ever resembled something like this happened. Maybe one of those things kind of happened or it was hinted at and then she got weird out and was like oh my god i'm gonna tell a joke about this do you have two dicks she'd give him sarah silverman a run for her money <laughs> i'm glad that you have a uh, a very sexually troubled family that's that's uh that's a very funny joke I'm glad you're using this to substitute it with your personality like that. Everyone <laughs> listening to this, I want you to take the doll and point to which part of your eardrums the comedy hurt you. This, this, freaking, this freaking chick is awful. It is It is pretty, pretty bad. Well, uh, okay. I'm going to set you guys free, but uh, CJ and Adam, thanks for joining me here today on the internet as a toilet. Anything you guys want to plug before we head out? Well, if you want to hear a good podcast with uh, much better one liners. We who give the shit can supply you with that. Uh, I think we're on all platforms now. We got a Patreon. Uh, we're about to record an episode this weekend. Fuck yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, check us out on everything. Just search who gives a shit. You know, we're the, we're the, we're the ones that show up. We're just, you know, take current events, find the goofy people that care way too much about it, and then talk shit about them. That being said, <laughs> Thanks for joining me, guys. I appreciate it. No problem, buddy. Uh, it was a blast. I, I think uh, listening to that comedy just made me more disabled. You know, made my condition worse. But it, it was worth it. Huge shout out to CJ and Adam from the Who Gives a Shit podcast. I love that show. Go subscribe to them right now. Become a patron of theirs on Patreon. Just support good, independent podcasts. Be sure to check out our website, toilet.show. There you're going to find the email address, the voicemail number to the show, links to all the podcast directories, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and our Patreon. There you can sign up and support the show for as little as $1 a month for a bunch of bonus content. There are now two exclusive Patreon-only This Patreon is a Toilet episodes, crossovers, and all sorts of other bonus content too. Patreon.com slash toilet.show. Please subscribe, rate, and review wherever you do such podcast things. And get in touch. Tell me about some shitty shit on the internet that you know about that I may not. But, until then. Bye, have a great time. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you today's Smool.com karaoke compilation. For more terrible karaoke, go to Smool.com. That's Smool. S-M-U-L-E dot com. Some people call me just best cowboy. Uh, 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 yeah. Some call me the gangster of love. Some people call me Maurice. Yeah. It was the last big year because the bubble of love. Love, love. People talk about me, baby. Oh. 
saying I'm doing you wrong, doing you wrong. Don't you worry, baby, don't you worry, mama. Cause I'm right here, right here, right here at home. Cause I'm a picker, I'm, I'm a greener, I'm a lover. Music I'm a joker, I'm a smoker, I'm a midnight joker. Give my love a long run. Cooking some rice. You guys are doing good? Rice is good. From me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You will. You're the cutest thing that I ever did see. Yeah, see? I really love your pictures, want to shake your tree. Lama dummy, lama dummy, lama dummy all the time. Cause I'm bigger, I'm a winner, I'm a lover, and I'm a sinner. I play I'm a young again, so. I'm a choker, I'm a smoker, I'm a midnight toker. I should have worn to her no one. that both free give me peaches fell off after you shook me tree, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Your peaches? <laughs> People keep talking about me, baby. You say I'm doing you wrong. Well, don't you worry, don't worry, no, don't worry. Cause I'm right here. Lincoln, man, now there's a politician you could trust. <laughs> Plus, he really knew how to wear a top hat. <laughs> Time to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs>